Ha ha ha! We all have things we don't necessarily get along with, darling, but you and I have been made the pair of the century! Bringing radio back is the goal of today, but you have gotten yourself into I would like to trouble some individual who may be on my kill list. But don't worry! <laughs> it's all just a joke! But is it? You'll find out next time, because you signed a contract with that idiot! <laughs> As if TV has any bearings now that the internet is here! <laughs> He's merely a relic of the time, but at least we've got the trendy tag! We've got the trendiness that counts, that everybody wants, that retro aspect that just keeps us kicking where they will not go so far! But I guess you should be worried, because your soul is promised to two demons! <laughs> you have really gotten yourself tied up now, and not in the way that I know you'd like to, because I know you would like to. Because every single time you look at me that way, just because it's, uh, <clears throat> your obvious attraction to me is difficult to understand! But darling, I've tried to give you the best I can treatment-wise, just, uh, just be careful of the... Well, let's just say they're not supposed to be used that way. My, uh, my, uh, apparatuses that I've used so fondly for years, you found a way, darling, an innovative way to use them, and I appreciate that, uh, innovation, just as long as it has nothing to do with me. <laughs> but, what is it that you wanted to come to me for? Did I explain it away, or did you still have questions today? <laughs> ah. Ah, so that's what it was. <laughs> you little scamp, you. You have something to explain to me right now, and I wish that I could care about it, but I think it's going to be the same thing that you've said. Professing your love to me. Ha 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 ha! If I don't laugh, I might cry. Am I right, folks? Ha 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 ha! But listen to me and listen closely. I don't hold it against you. I understand you're being of the flesh, and you have the fleshy, bloody fleshiness to you that makes you very fleshy in the head, too. And therefore, I forgive you. Bless you, in fact. And if you have a problem with that, a demon blessing you, then you're sane. <laughs> we wouldn't need any of that, now would we? Because sanity is just an excuse for people to create... Insanity! <laughs> Have you ever done a conspiracy theory or created a uh, rhetoric, political rhetoric? That's pretty much what we're going to be doing today, is inciting a massive mob of people to do a crazy thing! <laughs> and with only the power of our voices, this is going to be something to remember! <laughs> uh, but first... We have to have a conversation, you and me, darling. There's a lot to talk about it. Why do I call you darling? I don't really know. I think I just came to love calling you that as an ironic reference to the fact that you would like to call me darling. <laughs> but you can't. <laughs> uh, sometimes I make myself laugh. Because nobody else really can. They could try, but their efforts would be paltry in comparison to mine. <laughs> You understand, darling. Well, first of all, we're going to have to get you in the right outfit. So, you're going to have to choose from this wide array of... Yes. Uh, no changing here, darling. You have to go to the changing room first. I, I thought that was common sense, but clearly I had misunderstood you. You're just such a go-getter that you forgot the most basic things about things. And it's not that you're troubled with something, it's that I'm troubled with you. Burdened with all that talent you have there, and with that voice, I can accept it. I can accept defeat in just this one aspect. You are meant for radio, darling, and even if you're signed to TV, that doesn't mean that you're any less radio's darling right now. Now, that that's discussed, we're gonna have to get to the bottom of this. We can't keep meeting like this, and can't keep having these rendezvous. If we do, it may develop into some weird feelings thing. And I don't want to experience that. <laughs> Nothing disgusts me more than the thought of being in a relationship with anyone. 
I mean, sure, you're an exception to the rule to a certain extent because I enjoy your talent and you enjoy my looks, but that does not make us equal, my darling or friend, friendling, and that makes things complicated. You see, with how we are right now, I'd be lucky if I got rid of you in a thousand years. But that is only if things went your way. Now, as in true radio fashion, I should leave it up to a game. Ha ha ha! Do you know my favorite thing? Do I know yours? Well, we'll lay it all on the table for a radio audience. Let's do date or die. Ha 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 ha! I don't know why I'm doing this, but the producer said I should, so <laughs> I'm being strung along even though it's not in my best interests. Fuck! <laughs> okay, but I digress. There may be a way that this still goes in my favor if I can defeat you with what you enjoy. But I think all of your answers are going to be so plain, darling. So on the table because you wear it on your sleeve. Your heart is right there and I can see it. It's beating right there. It's literally beating right there. Well, um, <clears throat> now that you've put your heart away, as well as the rest of your body behind those fancy clothes, which I unfortunately saw everything. <laughs> everything. Well, I'm not saying I don't appreciate what's under the hood, but I'd like it to remain under the hood while I'm here. <laughs> Though, if I had to be brutally honest, I think you have an exquisite taste with your body. <laughs> but... As far as I'm saying, it's just not the flavor that's into me. <laughs> Anyways, as I was saying, before we start this madness, do you have anything to say for yourself? <laughs> just that. You're convinced that you could get through to my icy cold heart, but uh, you've misunderstood me completely. It's not something like that, darling. I have no aversion to the idea of romance. It's the touchy feelies that I don't like. <laughs> I've actually, I've never had any interest in romance myself, but at the same time, it's something that you seem to be obsessed with. <laughs> and I respect that kind of grind. I enjoy someone who grins when they fight. And then, after that, I think it's all dead down to how the tea spills, if you know what I mean. Ha <laughs> Uh, excuse me? Uh, where are we going? I didn't sign up for this. <laughs> so, darling, would you mind telling me what's going on here? Because I am dying to know. Not just the radio audience, as I've turned that off for a moment, as you so requested. So, what is it? What do you wish to tell me here in this grand cathedral of a place, a setting? Ah, the things aren't quite what they seem. I agree. But what about it? What is it that you think you have control of your own life? It's hilarious. But as much as I like a good comedy, I am not too much for the drama, so... What is it you want from me, really, other than the obvious relationship that will never work out? What is it that you're looking for? I need to know that. Better conditions on the contract? Perhaps actual pay? <laughs> A pipe dream like that might be too much for you to dream, but maybe someday. Maybe if you've been a good scamp all your life, then maybe, maybe I'd consider it. Well, your afterlife, at least. As it doesn't really end, does it? <laughs> well, aside from all that, you haven't been honest with me, have you? You haven't been telling the whole story of everything that needs to be said. Instead, you've been feeding this story like it's a hungry goose named Jerry. And if this hungry goose named Jerry was to be a personification of how you feel, then it'd be something along the lines of... That TV-headed moron. And if I catch you even looking, sniffing in his direction, if you do something like that, then I'd have to reprimand you by putting you into a, a 
training program of sorts, and I am not jealous. You keep looking at me like that. I am not jealous. There is no jealousy in this body whatsoever. It is completely a misconception, and you, you are, <laughs> you are pretty confident in that, huh? You think you know me better than I know me, and that's just offensive. Is that it? Don't bark up the wrong tree, darling, or you'll find yourself quickly emanating with the most delusional of the sorts. Some politicians, some enthusiasts, some megachurch owners, they're all in the same boat. Inciting chaos does tend to be what they do every day, so not to get political or anything, but I think right now you're barking up that tree. You're trying to sell me something I don't want to buy. <laughs> but you think I want to buy it to be one up on Vox, and you're absolutely correct. Wow, even I didn't know I'd make that decision on the fly. <laughs> ah, but that's... that's... Oh, you've got me there. I cannot argue with that. I would like to be one up and have a contract that has even more exclusionary clauses. Until I have at least 51% of your soul, I do not agree to anything. That's right, I object in this court of demonic law. <laughs> You're going to be mine, at least in that way. Completely platonic and quite emotionally detached. But that wasn't what you were aiming for in the first place, so it should be fine. <laughs> now where were we, darling? I... Uh, again with the cliches, I see. You think that you could convince me to like you with a mere cabidon of power. But that is not enough. And my pettiness towards Vox is almost enough, but you're still short on something. You know what that is? You need to work on your charm, darling. You need the charm to make a million people buy a penny for a dollar. That's what I need, that charisma. And if you're gonna try it, go do your best then. Make me feel something, I dare you. <laughs> I don't think you could because I couldn't. Neither could any of my exes who thought they could. Oh, trust me, they thought they could make me feel something and then I just embarrassed every single one of them. So at your own risk and embarrassment and my entertainment, go ahead and try and show me that riz. <laughs> oh, is that your approach? I'm not saying it's a bad one. A classic. The shove down into the embrace. Just don't touch me. Just don't touch me. Ha ha ha. This is uncomfortable. <laughs> if that was your goal, you're spectacular and you're crafted. I almost feel like breaking into cold sweat. <laughs> It's of no fault of yours. I just don't like confined spaces so respectfully. This is a zero out of ten. <laughs> Though I will admit the uh, exit hug was tolerable. I don't mind as long as it's a quick one. I hate those long hugs just like long handshakes. Completely make me uncomfortable. I know you may have seen me do it before, but I was gritting my teeth without gritting my teeth. Particularly using a tongue technique with... No, not that kind of tongue technique, you little scamp. It's something completely different and uh, entirely innocent, I promise you. It is a uh, uh, tongue technique that I can bite my teeth with my tongue. <laughs> Bet you didn't expect that one. You were thinking it was like tie a, a cherry stem or something. I could see it in your eyes. You were looking for that. And for the record... Well, it has no relevance or bearing to this conversation. I can tie at least ten cherry stems in my mouth with just my tongue. It does not make me a good kisser, as I do not kiss. Kissing is gross. Have you ever thought of the bacteria in the mouth? And let alone a demon. You think humans are bad, but demons have even more disgusting mouths. I've seen someone who found a, uh, a used apparatus in there. It was, it was disgusting. Completely. It was utterly, completely disgusting. It was terrible. Honestly, I'm scarred for life, but I digress. My scarring past is not what you're looking for. You're looking for my scathing feelings that don't exist. <laughs> 
You're still barking up the wrong tree, and it's entertaining to a certain extent if it wasn't so damn uncomfortable. I still appreciate that you're showing me more attention than a box fellow. That idiot has nothing but a TV for a head. Isn't that embarrassing? Shame him! Shame him! Ha <laughs> ah. hmm. So that's what you thought would capture my heart. Radio? <laughs> a radio segment for me. I do admit it warms the cockles of my heart just a bit that you would think of me in such a way, a productive way that I can completely use and abuse given our contract. But I still think it's a wildly acceptable and completely adorable way to do it. Good job. You played the role of the pawn and the contractee and possibly the worker who has no rights at all. And you've done a great job of it. That is a few brownie points in your direction. Congratulations. Congratulations. Ha ha ha. Ah. Ah, you're doing it again. Ah, <laughs> uh, the, the tentacle was f for a high five. I... <clears throat> Here we go again. <laughs> well, radio folks, this is going to be a long day, I can already tell, because this charisma showing has turned into a, uh, a showing of something else that is not airable on TV, but probably is on radio, which is a disturbing and confusing distinction that I'm not even sure I want to make myself. <laughs> ah, this is awkward. Again, we have the tentacles. And again, you're trying to use your charisma in a new and exciting way. I appreciate that. Except for, I also don't appreciate that, and I, I can't decide which one it is. You have confused me thoroughly, because I appreciate the art of it, as long as it's not touching me, so it's, it's at least okay in that book. But is it really okay if you're doing all that mess that you're doing, and it's, it's quite messy? Oh my god, is it messy? Oh, Jesus! <laughs> oh god, they can't help us here! It's hell for a reason, I suppose, and you are the... Prime example of a degenerate. Congratulations. You define your field of expertise, and I I am so comfortable right now that I forgot what the word comfort means. <laughs> Instead, I look on with eyes that I can't look away. It's kind of like watching a car crash, except for a lot more squishy and uh, definitely more uh, creative. Very creative. I'll give you that. Creative, innovative, uh, in ways that do not involve me, but indirectly do, because uh, you're looking at me. Yes. <laughs> Hello, I see you too. And, and all that what you're doing, I, I understand. Um, yes. Uh, <clears throat> well, making out with the tentacle aside, I think you've done a wonderful job showing that you have charisma and are extremely shameless in your display of it. I appreciate that. In some capacity, I just don't understand why, darling. Why? Do you have an uncanny attraction towards my tentacle things? Or is it just because they're a part of me, but not really? Is it because they're, like, an extension of me, so it's some sort of uh, obsessive disorder where you're gonna chase after me? And because you can't touch me, you can indirectly touch me with that, and it's a, uh, weird train of thought to go down, isn't it? But I can't slight the effort, because that is effort all the same. And you've shown me at least in ten different ways you can use those. <laughs> I remember last time, oh, <laughs> I could never forget. I could never forget. It was, it was, it was a display. Oh, oh, you're, you're doing it again, aren't you? Uh, Ah, yes, I wouldn't want to forget the life scarring. I want to understand it better, right? A better understanding of your charisma and apparently your anatomy. <laughs> oh, oh yes, uh, that, that is, that is a, uh, ability you have to do. And because there are several tentacles around, I, I see where this is going. I, please, God, please, I, I've never been religious a day in my life, but, uh, God, please, <laughs> God, please, <laughs> ah, God, please, God, please, I, uh, oh, look at that, uh, look at the time, I suppose it's a 
captive audience situation, and you've got yourself a uh, brand new uh, uh, victory dance of sort, if that's what you'd like to call it. Instead, I would call it something far more uh, uh, rooted in something else. <laughs> I'm sure that tentacle will be rooted in something soon enough. Find out next time, my darling audience, and don't leave me behind. Please don't tune me out right now, because I need all the confidence and support I can get to get me through this time. And here we go, into the second inning, and oh, big surprise, there we have something we've seen before, but something innovative too, so <laughs> I suppose I will use my eyes for what eyes are used for, and observe for now. Wish me luck, dear audience, as this is going to be a wild ride, I'm sure. One that doesn't involve me in the slightest. Thank you and good night. Oh my god, what are you doing to that? I didn't even know that was physically possible. You're bending the rules of physics as you like to show me your perceived riz or charisma at least. And I uh, do not know how to feel about this. And how did we even get here? Did you just use some sort of power that I'm unaware of to get to a larger location so you could have, oh, <laughs> more squishy fun? I should have guessed. Where are my manners? You're so good at this that I, I, uh, <laughs> oh my god, what am I looking at at this point? Uh, my eyes. <laughs> my eyes see way more than I ever thought I'd see of you as a co-worker, as your boss, as a... Uh, as, as, as the radio guy, I never thought that I would see such aspects, and it's quite scarring, I'm not going to lie. It's it's impressive on one hand that you would be able to. Is that seven of them? I, I didn't even know seven existed. You literally made two exist out of nowhere just to show me how talented you are. Congratulations, that is a new record. I will put it in the Book of Demons and uh, hopefully wash it from my mind because that is... That is that is, that, that is something. It is amazing on one hand, but I, as much as I want to praise it, I find myself looking and I can't look away. I literally can't look away. So uh, please do the, um, your, your best efforts. It might as well. <laughs> please, actually, don't do your best efforts. You don't need to go that far. Please. It, I, I understand there's seven of them. But, but, but seven may be a lucky number in, in certain circles, but I, I think, I think it's, it's fine not to go to eight. See? <laughs> no need to involve eight of them, and um, that way you've got yourself a free uh, uh, place to rest as well while you uh, <laughs> handle all of those things. You have quite a handle on them, don't you? Ah, uh, I make myself laugh when I almost want to cry! Ah, <laughs> uh, someone save me. I mean, no, 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 you, you, you're saving me by showing me your display. So it's a, <laughs> a bit of a conflicted feeling. I mean, I don't know how to feel about this because you don't know how to feel about those. And my God, there are so many to feel from. I see where this is going. I see where this is going, darling. You are a very talented talented individual with a very talented, talenty thing, and I, 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 I've lost my words, I'm, wow, I, I, that is flexibility, I am impressed, down to my, uh, down to the sweat beating down my forehead, I am impressed with all that amazing talent you have, and how you choose to display it <laughs> to everyone, um, no, no, really, it's okay if it's everyone, you don't need to be exclusively mine, I mean, I wasn't asking for that in the slightest, in fact, I, I would rather it be everyone, be dedicated to your craft, and, uh, enjoy it on a, a level of display, but the fact that you've only done this in front of me with, uh, extensions of myself, it, it gives very much the, uh, <clears throat> obsessed and lovestruck, uh, completely lovesick for someone that you have never had in your life, but now you want me to feel something, and I understand that, darling, but right now I feel something, I'll tell you that. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I feel something. I'm just not sure what I feel. I feel impressed, uh, horrified, and completely enamored, because I can't look away. You know, really, darling, my eyes are literally glued to you. I can't look away. <laughs> uh... 
Yeah, no, don't let me stop you. You might as well enjoy your time. Enjoy it from the beginning to end and then enjoy it some more because what the hell do I care? At this point, my eyes, the tears are tears of joy. <laughs> Isn't that obvious? I mean, they were obvious to me. <laughs>